Sometimes there might be occasions when you want to change the format of a great photo that you've taken. Take for instance this very moody and dramatic shot of a beach just after a storm has gone through. This picture has not been cropped at all, this is the way that it came from the camera and it looks pretty good like this. But what if we want it to fit within a square format? Well we could choose to crop it. We could choose to actually transform it, which is push and pull and squeeze it around. But what if we want the main rock formation to stay the same and just the sky and the beach to be transformed? Something like this. Look at this particular version of the image. It's square and the rock formation has stayed the same, but the sky and the water area have been reorganized in order to fit the square format. Or what if we want to go very wide and make this type of panoramic look to our image? Again, the rock formation and the key beach area has remained the same, but the water and the sky have, in this case, been stretched in order to suit the panoramic format. Well, there's a new tool in Photoshop Elements 9 that's perfect for doing these kind of manipulations to your images. It's called the Recompose tool. Let's go back to our original photo and just right click on this image. Go down to Edit with Photoshop Elements and take it into the main Editor workspace. Then we'll go and hunt down the Recompose tool. You mightn't have seen it yet. It's sitting underneath the Crop tool. So you need to click and hold the mouse cursor down on the Crop tool itself, then go down to Recompose tool in order to select it. Now the first time you open the Recompose tool, you will see a pop-up dialog that gives you a bit of an introduction on how to use it. I'm just going to click OK to this and go straight through to the tool. Straight away you'll notice that we have handles on the edges and the corners of our photograph now. And we could go straight ahead and grab those corners or edges and just pull the image in and you'll notice the image starting to change as the tool goes to work. But what we want to do in this particular instance is make sure that parts of our photograph remain the same during this transformation. So there's a couple of tools that we have at the top of the screen here which we'll use in order to make sure that occurs. We have two brushes and two erasers. The green brush is used for marking areas that we wish to keep exactly the same. So here I'm going to increase the size of the brush by just using my square right brackets and paint over this part of the picture because we want this part to remain the same. Perhaps this part of the beach as well. Then we're going to use the red brush to actually mark the areas that we don't mind if they get changed in the transformation process. So this is pretty much any part of the sky and any part of the water that you see here. Once we've done that, marking the parts we want to preserve, the green bits, and the parts we don't mind changing, the red bits, we can go up to a handle, and in this case, we want to drag in this side of the image. You can see the changes being applied to the photo in order to get it to be more rectangular. Notice that the actual rock formation and this part of the beach have not changed at all. Incredible because we're actually telling Photoshop Elements what not to change and what to change. But let's look at the other scenario now where we want a much wider panoramic type image. So I'm just going to escape out of this and the first thing I'm going to do is go and grab the traditional crop tool. So I'm going to hold down my mouse cursor over the recompose tool, reselect the crop tool, I'm going to go over to the background layer in the layers panel and just double click on it and click OK. This will change the image from being a background image to just being a normal image layer. Then with the crop tool still selected I'll drag a marquee around the whole of the photo. I'll then grab the handle on the right hand edge and just drag it out and let go and then click on the green tick or commit button. So you can see now we've got some transparent space sitting here and the image sitting on the left hand side. Now let's go and select our recompose tool again. Click OK. 
and go through and highlight the areas we want to remain the same. So we'll just grab these bits and the areas that we don't mind changing. So we'll just go like so and then grab the handle on the right hand side and just drag it out. And you'll see how the content that we've selected for change has actually been altered in order to create this new panoramic format image. Just click the green tick button in order to commit those changes.